Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm so excited to show you how to make cinnamon raisin apple french toast casserole. If you've been following along, you probably know all about sourdough starter and you may love it as much as I do, but what happens when the sourdough bread goes wrong? Sometimes if you don't knead it the right length or if you have, like I did, a child come down and punch it down right before I was ready to bake it, you may end up with some sourdough bricks. Now, if that happens, definitely don't start throwing away the bread. There is a solution, and that is this French toast casserole. It's something I started trying a few weeks ago with my bread, and I tossed in some apples just to see how that would taste, and this is now something that we will eat for breakfast, or we'll eat it for lunch. Start with a loaf. I just baked these of sourdough bread. Now, if you didn't mess up your bread, you can still, of course, make this, which I don't think this loaf turned out too bad, but I wasn't super particular knowing what I was gonna be doing with it. And you're gonna just cut it into one or two inch chunks. large glass bowl mix together two cups of whole milk a half cup of real maple syrup you could also use honey for this we don't always have maple syrup because we get honey from a local Amish community by the gallon but sometimes it just makes things taste so much better 10 eggs A half teaspoon of cinnamon. I will link these below. I get questions about these jars and these wooden spoons all the time. A teaspoon of vanilla. I'll also link how to make homemade vanilla, which I shared on this channel as well. And then just mix it up. Next, I'm gonna get four large apples peeled and chopped. Now I invested, after doing my sourdough apple pie recipe on here, I had tons of you recommend that I get a peeler core slicer. So I found this one on Amazon and it's been on our counter ever since. We are loving it during apple season. I'll link below where I found mine. You can also probably find them at your local hardware store. I'm gonna get the bread starting to soak in a nine by 13 pan in the milk and egg mixture. You can also make this ahead. So if you wanna have this on a Sunday morning, you can get everything all mixed up and you just cover it tightly. Put it in the refrigerator overnight. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a half a cup of raisins. These also kind of plump up with the mixture and when they're baking, so delicious. Now I'm gonna just dice these apples up further. I like them to be really tiny. Now once the mixture kind of sops up in the bread completely, you may add a little bit more bread. Let it stand for about 10, 15 minutes to let it everything soak in. Before baking, I'm gonna top it off with about a half cup of melted butter. Then I'm gonna pop it in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Head over to the blog farmhouseonboon.com for the full recipe. There's also a printable recipe card if you wanna save this one. I'll leave an exact link to this post in the description box below. Also, if you're brand new to my channel, I want to tell you about my subscriber library. So over on my blog, I have a spot where email subscribers only can get my free printable labels and ebooks that I offer. So if you want to be able to access that and get the password, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can sign up to get that. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. 
Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.